In this video, I want to talk about why episodes outperform content. What's going on, everybody? My name is Karim Mustafa. I'm one of the co-founders at Tribe Tactics and author of the book Original Series. And in this series of videos, we basically want to give you everything you need to be able to plan and grow your very own original series. So today I want to talk about, um, I actually want to challenge, ah, challenge conventional thinking and get you to, to picture this. So we really believe that episodes outperform content and episodes are obviously a form of content. But when you start think, when you start breaking it down, you'll realize that, you know, when you when we start to think of our own content strategy as an episodic strategy, it's something that will really help us get a higher ROI on every piece of content, so to speak, that we create. So let me explain why. Once we actually make the decision to start a show for our industry or even for our personal brand, you have just saved so much hours of your life uh, that would have been that would have went to like brainstorming new content ideas. Because now that you have a show. Uh, this essentially becomes the shell for everything else that you create, at least for a you know for for a period of time. Let's call it, let's call it a season, right? Let's say ten episodes, for example, um, or it could even be five or six episodes to get the ball rolling. But ultimately, once you've made that decision to create a show, life becomes so much simpler, and you literally save so much hours because now all you need to do is just plug and play, right? Just plug in all the different episodes that will be part of that show from a topical perspective and also from a guest's perspective. And mind you, like once you actually have the, the overall genre and show strategy planned out, it makes life a lot easier to think of the different topics as well. And then the next thing is that with every guest that you bring on board, you're gonna be co-creating that content with them. If you think about it, um, now it's not exactly like that, but if you think about it, they're gonna be you know, contributing a, a, a great portion of that content. And so all that, burden is not necessarily on you, but rather you're in, you're in conversation with them to create something that is of mutual value to your joint audiences as such. The other thing as well that helps us realize that episodes really do outperform content is that, as I said earlier, it is obviously a content piece in and within itself, but beyond that, you're actually able to repurpose that into a ton of content pieces, and you hear us talk about this all the time, repurposing it into video, audio, written, and image content. So from every episode, you're getting 10x, maybe 20x, maybe 50x the, times, the, the, the type of content. And probably when you do create a piece of content, I mean, when, when you and I or any other business out there creates content, on the one hand, we need to think as soon as it's out, we're like, boom, what do we got to do next, right? Like we need to think of the next content piece and the next, and it's almost like this never ending like content hamster wheel, unfortunately. And, and many times we, you know, we were, we're facing pressure to like come up with new ideas and this, that, and the other. And to tell the truth, like we, when we post content, it's for a reason. It's because we care about that topic. And now we're under this, you know, like artificial pressure to like create something new, even though we need to, to stick to what we were talking about. But obviously we, we can't repeat ourselves, um, if, you, if you know what I mean. And so being able to repurpose something especially an episode because because it's you know it, it's created in video and it's very rich in content you're actually able to continue reinforcing whatever message you're trying to reinforce to your audience whether it's from a, a thought leadership perspective an education perspective um, you know or, or anything else that you're just trying to reinforce rather than sharing I don't know who said this but basically um, you know they, they say um, the, I could I could be wrong but I think it was Bruce Lee who said, uh, I fear the man not who, who, who um, you know, practiced a hundred kicks, uh, like one each, one each time, but rather I fear the person who's practiced one kick a uh, hundred times. Now, I probably butchered that, <laughs> but you know what I mean? That basically, once you have each episode, all we need to do is re just repurpose that into further content pieces, because this way we continue to hammer on that point, but we do so in a very natural and, and effective fashion, because... We were showing up again, but in video this time, in audio this time, written, image, you get the idea. And that brings me to the next point. Um, speaking of, of, of that engaging, you know, dynamic that happens once you repurpose the content, one of the things that really helps to separate episodes from regular content is the fact that it is entertaining. <laughs> I was going to say entertainment. Entertaining. It is entertaining because, you know, um, if you think about it, like this is the kind of content that people will watch after they finish work, right? Like 5 p.m. onwards. 
And ultimately, we want to make sure that this content isn't something that's dry, but is genuinely something that they would probably watch like after work, after dinner, uh, or even listen to it if it's, if it's the, the audio version of it. But the idea there is that we're creating something that is recognizing that our audiences are not just job titles and they're not just demographics or even personas, that they're just humans like you and I and they love um, entertainment and they just there's more to them than, let's say, their work. And if you're able to fuse that um, creatively in the way you craft your show strategy, then you're definitely onto a winner and you're definitely onto something that will help you stand out from anybody else. And they'll keep wondering, you know, how you do all of this when in fact your strategy is very simple but powerful, which is that you create a set of episodes and you then repurpose each one into tons of content pieces. That's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.